But they this, this movie, just like any other movie, they have their <laughs> moments. <laughs> you like, <laughs> God damn! <laughs> you like, what? <laughs> All the money we spent on this movie and they did that. That shit is cheap. <laughs> I look better than that. That was the ran out of money moment. Yeah. Every movie got it. Well, it it has been 20 years since what people call this cinematic classic has been released. Oh, how time has flown. Queer. Have all the heroes gone? Yeah. You better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Now come on. Come on, man. <laughs> you exaggerate just a little bit. No, people. A lot. Of, look, when I saw this, a lot of critics my age at the time, or older, saw this. Um, we were all adults, but a lot of millennials and younger have grown up on the first live action Scooby Doo movie from 2002. The world needs a champion against the forces of darkness. Well, to the do where where are you Warner Brothers pictures mystery ink reunites Scooby and his crew well hey look like I said man it's been 20 years I was a different person 20 years ago Y'all were different people 20 years ago, especially since you were kids. So we're going to look at this together and see how this has aged over the last 20 years. Because, I mean, we could talk about the quality of the movie, talk about the writing and whatnot. But, I mean, listen, 20 years ago, a lot, a lot has changed. We can talk about what works and what wouldn't. I mean, what could you not get away with? And you're thinking, this is a family film. What do you mean what you could not get away with? Yeah, family entertainment meant something else back in 2002 mm. and it does today in 2022 you bet your ass yeah. <laughs> I did a lot of shit back in 20, 2002 <laughs> you know it all started out as we were discussing now I'm going to tell you I was talking about this with Chris he told me some things that I've forgotten some things I just did not know we were talking about how this is going to be a rated R movie it was a rated R script from James Gunn yeah that was the original pitch it was going to be a parody of Scooby Doo and see that's the thing because Kevin Smith had kind of done a little bit of this mm -hmm. and I forget which one of his movies uh, one of the I mean, maybe it was a silent Jay and Silent Bob just, just a, sh a short vignette and it was like Man, that is perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it skewers this, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. And now today we're going to do this movie. I was like, man, if they take that and just expand it, this ought to be great. That was the yep. idea. Well, that was the thing they were going to do with James Gunn. Yeah, no, it was like heartbreaking to read after this piece of shit came out, <laughs> what he originally planned. I was like, so everything he in his original script was all the stuff that I wanted to see. Yeah. yeah. They were going to uh, get Jim Carrey. Now, that I did not know. Yeah, he was uh, the studio favorite at the time. I mean, he was blown up in the 90s. I mean, yeah. Things yeah. Like Ace Ventura and the I mean, Mask. And he, he yeah. looks like Shaggy. You, look, you, mean, you can look at him, he looks yeah. like Shaggy. Yeah, I mean, he's made of rubber, practically. Plus, you know so. he can do that walk. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, he could. Yeah. But he yeah. dropped out because the film was in some sort of weird production. They had production issues for yeah. years. And so he yeah. moved on to other projects. And actually, the studio hated the script that they had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was what what sold it, from what I understand, because I got sent this information today. Uh, what sold it was that damn dog. They oh. saw they saw the dog and the dog, and they, they had these maquettes made of him and everything, and they had a proof of concept. Which some that, now, if the story is correct that I read, and again this was sent to me, when people find out we we're talking about this, they said they actually had this company make a maquette, you know, statue of Scooby, mm. and then they took it and they. And they uh, uh, and they were able to sell the movie on that. And then they told the company, "You don't talk shit about this movie. You don't say a goddamn thing about this movie. You never, you were never here. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> wow. You never made this stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. It's like why? Because they, I think they, because they took it and, and gave it to another studio oh, to okay. to do the effects. But yeah. Um, but getting into it now, you know, uh, looking at this movie here. I, and I, I, I would say this, and I, I, don't, I don't think everybody will agree with me on this, but I did like the casting. I thought, I th as far as the looks and what they did with the characters, was pretty spot on, man. It's, you know, I really like they got the costumes kind of accurate. I think, uh, you know, and, and they made, and they were able to make fun of that too. 
Uh, you know, they were they, out in the movie. There were small moments that had me laugh. Uh, like I can't tell if this dude actually likes Velma's sweater or if he's talking shit. On the house, nice sweater. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> that could be taken any way. But either way, you know, I. I and but I tell you what's funny about this because it started out. It started out with the classic sweater right there. And then Warner Brothers said, that's cool. You can keep that for a little while. But dads are coming to see this movie. And that girl got some big old titties. <laughs> and you think we're going to let that go to waste? <laughs> it was like, like halfway through. I don't even know what changed. I don't even know what happened. That sweater went off. She got some little mini skirt. And she got this low cut blouse right here. You like, damn. <laughs> Even he's like, whoa, wait a minute. I was about to kill you, but you look good, girl. Yeah, you're thick. I like that. They were the, the, the three of them. Now Velma, may, maybe she was a little more personality than the rest of them, but they're, you know, Daphne, sassy. Daphne and Fred. They no, were, they're nothing. They're blank slates, man. They, they might pretty people. Been, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit, they could have been mannequins up in that show, man. But here, <laughs> it looked it, like they were. It, it, they the were time. at the time. Yeah. <laughs> that cheap hey, animation. Shaggy, what did you find? <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes just be the mouth moving. But yeah, man. No, here they gave them just a little bit more personality. I mean, I ain't saying it's good, but they tried to do a little bit more with it. Uh, I like that they made Fred just. Uh, that's what makes me think he's gay. He's just a complete narcissist. Yes, he is. To the point where he's almost stupid. Fred. <laughs> hear me. Fritz, you're here, Mims. Shockingly, Daphne's been captured again. What? Should I f you? Would you f me? Here's <laughs> that moment right there. He masturbates. He jacks off to himself. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, uh, Daphne's a full ditz here, man. You know, she's... Damn's on distress. Yeah, that, well, she's ditzy too, man. In the show, she was just... Yeah, she would get caught, but, I mean, again, with no personality they, they, they at all. Caught. Yeah, but Daphne here, they you know they, they they embrace just the, you know just the dumb chick, which I'm not saying it's the best image from women, but hey, you know here I'll take anything. Daphne, are you okay? <laughs> I'm so over this damsel in distress nonsense. As a dog leaves skid marks on her head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dog is wiping her ass, <laughs> <laughs> wiping his ass with her hair. Hot hair. Velma's not much different from the show. You know, she's, she, like I said, she had a little bit more personality. She was a smart girl who always was kind of helping to solve the, 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 the mysteries the most. She was the one who found the most clues. She was the smartest one. Mm -hmm. Except, you know, the gang, the mystery gang. They always got the credit as a group. Mystery right. Inc. When she was the one that was really doing the heavy work. Now, I'm, de I'm, I'm dealing with uh, narcissists, a dumb chick. Two potheads, yes, this dude and his dog, and I'm the one doing all the heavy work, and in this version right here, she's like, I'm tired of y'all shit, man. Fred, what's the secret of your success? Teamwork. I do a tremendous amount of teamwork, and this mother... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to watch her face drop. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I like that she's just, she's just, just, just tired of everybody, man, and, and I mean, you, you didn't see this all the time, because I thought this on the show. I said, man, they... they this girl a lot since she's the nerdiest one and they do that here oh please you come with your own ransom note <laughs> hey my glasses <laughs> yeah she's she's so blind she became a cripple when she took them glasses off she hit the ground <laughs> I feel like she's like jesus girl have some more self-respect for yourself <laughs> yeah she, she grabbed friend like my yeah. glasses <laughs> give me back my eyes yeah. give me back my film <laughs> They start playing catch with the glasses. <laughs> they did a roll, man. Yeah, that's bullying. That is no, that is bullying, man. I was like, no wonder she's tired of everybody. Look, look at look at Scooby, like that's God damn, like, girl. More self respect. <laughs> hey, look, he's, he's looking to mount her right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 give me my glasses. I'll suck your dick, please. <laughs> they, they they mess with her bad here, man. So you know, I thought uh. I thought that was kind of cool that they showed the bully inside of them. Although they, I mean, damn, I, they they got right to just doing all the trademark stuff. I mean, a barely minute into the movie, they already bringing out them jinkies. Jinkies. 
that's a minute into the movie yeah, right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, damn. You, you, Get all the fan service in there in the first Exactly. Seconds, you don't want to okay. give it any time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a Scooby-Doo movie. No. Ah, shit, they, got, yeah. they need to know. They might not know. Yeah. We're not even an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> got to do this shit quick. Come on. Uh, I do think it got a strong start mimicking the show. Uh, you know, I mean, that's what everybody wants to see a live action remake for anyway. Just see how much you can make the live action look like the cartoon. Uh, you know, it starts out like an episode of Scooby Doo where it says the case of dot dot dot. Yeah, I hear the the wow old toy factory, the case of the Luna Ghost. Mm. So, you know, when they brought so they, much work in those titles, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they come in, and, you know, and if at that point they start following all the tropes of Scooby Doo. Like I said, hey man, they hit the marks. They ain't, they didn't try to spread it out. You know, they, <laughs> they want to hook you right from the beginning with that nostalgia, man. You know, they were all the tropes like you know taking off the mask. Old oh, man Smithers, the creepy janitor. You know, they show you how they go in just like they do on the show. They show you how the costume works, but this time they can do it with much more convincing looking technology. These balloons fill with a highly potent helium synthesis, giving the Luna Ghost his weightless appearance. Why is he a janitor? You know, if he put that much work into like <laughs> doing something decent with his skills, he might be working for NASA or Google or some shit. That, I just love that's it. the same thing we say about Peter Parker. Yeah, yeah, it's true, <laughs> true. I just love that she hits that. And he's surprised by it. Like, what's oh, happening? Oh. You were using the technology. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. It's a bad direction here. <laughs> I'm asking why he's a janitor. Well, you know, didn't have to be. He had the perfect crime, and if it weren't for you know who. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling bitch and your dumb dog. <laughs> 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 Talk that wrong next shit about me. <laughs> uh, you know the the. I like the interesting idea after it was done. Cause I was like, all right, you got all that out the way. What are we gonna do? I mean, I was pretty quick, man. Uh, but then they broke up. And I'm like, okay, that's a cool idea. Uh, they ab- stole that. Ab- 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 from what? From from a, a, a film that came out not too long before that. Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. Which oh, did they do that? Which, which was considered to be probably the best among the families. Oh, yeah, but except they, oh. it wasn't like this. It was just they they, they went to college and they okay. got careers afterwards. Well, That's what you happened. know, well here, I I mean, even if they took it from that, it's an interesting take to add to a live action movie mm. uh, because I mean they they've taken everything else from the show. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, so why yeah. not? I I thought it was kind of cool that they broke up, you know, especially when they start they started because on the show they never. They never like that's why I like they mess with Velma because they never really made fun of each other. You know these guys spent True. a lot of time together. It's like mm-hmm. yeah, they were friends. Surely, yeah, they were yeah, friends. You know, surely they, there's a point where you guys start hating each other. And this shows all right. This is that point where Mister Ink start to hate each other because when they broke up, they didn't waste any time talking shit to each other, pointing out their flaws. It's not fair. I was gonna solve a mystery all by myself for the first time ever. How are you gonna save yourself when you get caught? Talk that shit, Fred. <laughs> and Fred is like, hey, I ain't joking. <laughs> no, really. Very blunt. If I'm not around, <laughs> yeah, it's going to die. When I saw this, and I liked this before, I didn't realize how much I liked it still. Because I said, you know, Matthew Little, he did a really good job at playing Shag. And I'm like, nah, I look at this today, and I'm like, out of all the casting that they did, which I don't have a problem with, Matthew Little, that Shaggy, is brilliant. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that could have done a great job with this. We talked about Jim Carrey. There were some other people I'm sure they could do it, but uh, except for Mike Myers. You told me Mike Myers was going to try to do he it. Was, he like, was one of the people that wanted to do yeah, it. I yeah. don't see that unless you just want yeah, a little. He, he was going to play Shaggy. Unless you want a little pudgy uh, Shaggy. Which I'm sure he could have done the voice because he's amazing. Mm. I just don't think he had the body or the framework Maybe to do Wayne's Shaggy. Maybe Wayne's world when he was that thin, but even then. Yeah, even then. I don't know, man. I don't picture him. At no, I don't know, Shaggy. man. Yeah. But Matthew Lillard, he brought, he is Shaggy brought to life, man. Mm-hmm. Uh and the cool thing about him and this computer-generated dog over here, uh, I like the friendship between him and Scoob. You know, they're not, what I like about it is that they're not petty like the rest of the group, man. It's almost like, it's just, it's, it's just well, they cool, man. They're, they're, you know, I mean, mainly because they're just high half the time. But yeah, it's kind of that, like, that'll do it. <laughs> just want to chill and eat, man, and be friends with everybody. Like, we love you. And, you know, everybody's walking away. And, man, this, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this, this moment got me right here. I actually felt for him. And Scooby. Yeah, I quit. 
I'm out of here. Please don't go. Oh, I was looking at Scooby like, man, you know he's emotionally sensitive, man. Crushing his dog's dreams over here. And I mean, I, I, if nothing else, I really do like the, the, the relationship between the both of them, man. They're, they're pure of heart. Do I quit? No, Scoob. Friends don't quit. I was like, oh, man. You know, I'll tell you, what I like about that is that Matthew Lillard, because that dog is, that dog's weird. That dog is weird looking. The animation right. is horrible yeah, for him. That dog. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's constantly glowing around the edges. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, that dog is weird. I don't know what, I didn't know what they're going to do with it, but I, I, was, I will tell you this. Matthew Lillard as Shaggy actually makes the dog work better than it probably should. He's the most committed to it. Yeah. yeah. Of interacting with he's it. He's the one that elevates that, that because he's there by himself. Not just go show yeah. how good an actor that he is. He's the one that elevates that dog beyond a, a, a weird CG effect. Yeah. The detectives? Like, it's probably just somebody else looking for us to solve some terrifying mystery. Nobody home! Uh, quick, Scubo, grab the food out, let's cram up. See, trying to hide that weed. <laughs> <laughs> hide the shit, Scooby, hide the shit! Like, hide the shit, man! <laughs> Scoob's gonna be eating it. <laughs> Dying. Wait, you, you, you ain't all in? <laughs> Raggy, I don't feel so good. I think I'm dying, man. <laughs> That's why I should have been rated R. Oh, I got entire the whole thing, Scoop. No, really, give me to the hospital, man. <laughs> yeah, those, those big brown eyes are weak. I'm so used to seeing Scoob with his eyes close together, looking like a cartoon. But whenever Matthew Lillard is, is acting with it, I'm like, I'm, I'm okay, I'm all right. You know, it's, I'm not saying it's good. Of course, they all get quickly united, too. They don't keep them apart that long, uh, which I thought that would have been cool if they had to stretch it out a little bit more. But, you know, whatever, man. Uh, they all get quickly united to go to this place called Spooky Island, uh, which I'm, I found it funny. Let's let this, this, like, they put in just little funny gags in here. Where well, if this had been a better movie, they would have worked better. Like, Spooky Island, you know, a place that, of course, the Mystery Inc. gang would go to. But Spooky Island's got his own chartered airline that, that lands on the <laughs> island itself. National Charter Service to Spooky Island will begin boarding momentarily. It's cheap ass. It's like, like it's a sovereign nation. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's a cheap ass theme park, man. <laughs> that shit ain't even Six Flags. <laughs> right. Like, 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 Disney is a city and they don't have their own airlines. <laughs> Everything else, is but but not that. Yeah. Disney's no Spooky Island. No. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> God damn it! Who the hell's gonna fly on Spooky Island Airlines? <laughs> yeah, they do it. Shit, it's right up there with Spirit Airlines. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll take Spooky over Spirit. Yeah. So. You might actually get there. Yeah, right? exactly. Shit, some people say the same thing. <laughs> Shit, I've had many Spooky Airlines. They had to rebranding. That's yeah. what it was. Right. 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 Yeah, if you look closely, you can see where they just painted over the last few letters. Damn, I sat next to a dog on goddamn Spirit Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> I do some uh, that plane scene when they get to it. They, they that's one of the weirdest scenes in the movie. I don't know. I don't know if all of it works or not. We need gags. We need side gags. Yeah, we need Scooby side gags. Some, some of it they do. Again, I would like to criticize, but some of it they do. Uh, that's what they, what they do is very Hanna Barbera, very cartoon like like uh, Scooby the dog dressed up like a transvestite to get on the plane because they don't let big dogs on. Ooh. And that kid is really into it. You're like, mm. God damn, man. <laughs> right, where Fair you going, lady. mama? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's like Tyler Perry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, when they got on the plane, though, that's that's when the shit gets crazy. Immediately, this, it's, it's funny because this is 2002, but it looks like the 2000s crashed with the 90s. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Goddamn. Is, is, is Spooky Island in Seattle? Yeah. <laughs> no, it landed in Austin first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All these goddamn scullies and chokers. Yeah, frosted tips. And frosted tips. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was like, that. I think that plane is going to the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> We're not leaving the 90s, going to the 2000s. <laughs> Again, this might as well be Spirit Airlines. You got a, a, a chick gets on the plane eating dog food. Those sure do look like Scooby Snacks. I know they're for dogs. They're 100% vegetarian, and, and I love them. Ugh. And I'm a nasty bitch. <laughs> I'm a nasty bitch, too! <laughs> like me, too, man! 
Well, I'm high. What's your excuse? <laughs> yeah, that's like getting on a plane where chickens eating milk, milk bowl or apple or something. <laughs> but give me that look like, yeah. you want some? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but I would tell you, I forgot how much adult humor is in here. Some of that we talked about. Yes. Some of that's probably left over from the, mm-hmm. the other. Guns the, original the, script. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, you know, they don't, they, they, they don't try to hide. I mean, because these aren't real subtle jokes either. Like, they really hint hard that... Shaggy and Scooby constantly smoking weed. Pass the dochi, Pass the dochi. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I used to be the pothead theme back in the day. Which I mean, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 that's why they, that's why they're hungry all the time. Huh? The girl's name that they meet, Mary Jane. I'm Mary Jane. He just ejaculated on himself. And I smoke you, man! (laughs) (laughs) Try to light ass up. What are you doing? (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) You said it like your name's Mary Jane, man. His mind is blowing. Try to smoke smoke her hair. Yeah. (laughs) Set a hellfire. Shaggy's very literal. He's not thinking of it anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's not just with weed, either. Like they go to, I mean, they, 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 they hint at the hard stuff. Someone must have spiked my root beer last night. Talk me down, man. Talk me down. Fred! Shit, somebody must have <laughs> spiked the effects guy for that shit right there, because that looks terrible. Ugh. Like a sperm. Yeah, no, oh, I was, yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, perfect. No, that's what I actually compared that to later on. Like the big, the big, uh, the sperm stew. Swimmers. No, that THC just don't do me, man. I just, I can't hang with that dog and that, and that pothead, man. They go too hard. I get, I, they go too hard, man. I get, I get stupid when I try to do that. I'll never be able to be on Shaggy's level, man. And you shouldn't try to be, man. Do your own thing. You can still have a good time. Maybe not with Shaggy and Scooby, but your dear old dad got you over here. Got that. Oh, just in time for Father's just Day. Just in time for Father's Day. Dad grass, man. Daddy chill got you, boy. Daddy chill. For dad grass, you've heard me talk about this before. Thing with uh, dad grass is that it is legal, organic, smokable hemp, and it will relax your mind and your body, man, without you sitting up there talking about the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you won't see dogs talking in front of you all the time. You know, this is uh, these come in 100% organic pre rolled joints. Uh,. They're very, very low in the THC, but very high in the CBD. They say it's like drinking a bottle of, uh, I'm sorry, no, hell no. It's like drinking a glass of wine without drinking a whole bottle. I'm like, well, shit, I don't want that. Why not drink the whole whole bottle? bottle. (laughs) (laughs) Once it's open. Yeah. (laughs) No, it's like having a nice glass of wine without drinking the whole bottle. Unless you're Martin over here. (laughs) Uh, And not only does dad grass got you taken care of, but you're, but your old Uncle George got you too. George Harrison, that is. For all you Beatles fans out there, they have campaign going on with the George Harrison estate. Is that in addition to the mellow effects that you get, some of your Beatles fans out there, they also come in uh, not just uh, pre-rolled joints, but they come in tinctures. You know, you can actually put the liquid in your, under your tongue. And they also have, hey, look, I know some people, they want to accuse them of being sexist out there. Hey, mom got to have her grass too, and she does. There's mom grass. So, folks, you want to relax, but you don't want to get stupid right now. Just hey, I'm the same way. I can't, I can't smoke out. I get, I, I, I'm not coherent. But I've tried this. Tried this. I'm still trying it. I'm still doing it. They sent me a lot. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah. And I sit, I just sit back on that back porch sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, here's another thing. I'm not drinking that much these days, man. That's true. Yeah, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking beer at all. I'm not drinking all that much. Uh, so I just sit back there and just put a little thing under my tongue if I don't feel like smoking. Oh, that's smoking. Good. Yeah, and, I, and just stare at the trees. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> and three days later, yeah. me can pick you up. And yeah, exactly. Leave you back in the house. Said every now, Pixie comes up. I love you, Corey. <laughs> she talks to me. We might go solve crimes. <laughs> YouTube, this is legal, okay? I'm not slinging drugs. I'm not selling drugs. This is, you know, I'm not coercing people into being druggies, all right? Don't, whatever you're thinking, this is 100% legal, okay? So please, please don't treat me like I'm doing something bad. And please don't block me anything because I'm not doing anything at all. This is 100% legal. And also, if you want to try this out, 
I got you. Got you 20% off. Go to dadgrass.com forward slash toasted and get 20% off your first order. And I want to thank Dad Grass. Happy Father's Day to Dad Grass, by the way. I want to thank Dad Grass for sponsoring this portion of the show, of this video. And I want to thank all of you out there, of course, for all of your support. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're talking about how adult some of this humor is here. Uh, some of it is so adult that it's actually sexually creepy. Now, this is where I'm getting to some of the stuff that don't work here. Yeah. Some of these things that, uh, that they do. I'm like, yeah. Back in 2002, maybe. <laughs> but here in 2022, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh, sexual harassment apparently was fine family entertainment back in 2002. But today you can't do that. Like, here, it's hilarious. You got an ass-grabbing ghost. Like, hurry it up! This ghost keeps grabbing... Ah! Ooh, I think he went a little deeper than that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's good. Yeah, them ghostly hands went somewhere else. Fred. Fred be canceled today. There's a be. Fred, <laughs> Fred be in jail. There'll be a documentary about him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fred got on that ascot to make himself appear gay in front of women so that he can actually be creepy, you know, because he won't seem as much of a threat. Don't let that shit fool you. He's very aggressive. It took switching bodies to see that with him. So they have a scene in the movie. Did you, did you, did you see this today? No. No, you didn't. So they have a scene in the movie. You saw it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a part <laughs> where... So on this island, there's a whole thing going on where, you know, we're not dealing with people in costumes anymore. Monsters. There's some ancient artifact that's been found that involves demons coming to the world to rule for 10,000 years and pulling souls out of t t teenagers and college students' bodies. And pulling those souls out, well, when they don't have a soul to, or a body to go to, sometimes they get mixed up when they're trying to find their way back. Uh, Fred, with his dumb ass, he just went to the first body he saw because he was scared. Or oh, did he? Did he go to the first bite he saw because he was scared or uh, because he saw that ass right there? Because he, got, he gets up in uh, Daphne's body, which he's been wanting to do for a while anyway. And when he gets in there, yeah, I, I, I doubt that we can let this humor slide today. Hey, I can look at myself naked. Oh, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The moment Fred got back to his body, the police would be waiting on him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fred, can we talk to you, sir? <laughs> it's this, yeah, man. And, and here's the funny thing about it. I, I'm not making an excuse for Fred. Fred is so freaky and horny. Fred would, he, he, would, he molest himself. Like he's in the body of Daphne, he sees himself and starts grabbing his own ass. Hey, good looking. <laughs> Fred, God. <laughs> yeah, I know him. Fred don't care. Yeah, which is so funny about that because that's Freddie Prince Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar, who are a husband and wife in real life. Are they yeah. married in real life? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They got kids I didn't know they... No, no. With the director, he he insisted on having an actual couple play the two of them. Oh, nice. Thinking that they would have chemistry. Yeah. And they don't. They don't. <laughs> no. Which is yeah. So I said, like, no, they're, they're a couple in real life. They they, they got married. They're like, really? Really? No. They, have, they have children? Really? Oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> you say so. Yeah. Shit, I, I hope their married life is nothing like Scooby Doo life. <laughs> yeah, how could it be? <laughs> <laughs> that shit's in trouble. Yeah, it's this whole getting into, like, that's the thing that made it weird. Like, when he just, when he just ogled at them breasts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the bathroom and play my ass next. <laughs> Which I tell you, I, I, it's a cheap joke. It is a cheap joke. Yeah. It's a it's a conundrum too, because I I don't know. On the one hand, it's like that's 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 weird. That Ogle is the one that made it creepy. But at the same time, what's the boy supposed to do? He's in the he's in the body already. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we'd, all, we'd all do it, but it's just yeah. how they showcase it. It's just it's yeah. not funny. To I me. mean, what you supposed to do? Just walk around looking up at the sky all day. Close your eyes when you get undressed. <laughs> you can't wipe your own ass because you yeah. uh, molesting yourself. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but either way it goes, a cheap joke. But you still couldn't do that joke today. Which is what is funny about going back and looking at a lot of these movies. Which is why I like doing this because I like seeing what works today yeah. and what doesn't work today. Things that seem very innocent back in the day. It's like now, it's, you know, that's how times have changed, man. These things are actually. You know, whether the movies are bad or good, you know, they're time capsules within themselves, man. Humor ages the worst out of anything. Yeah. yeah. Which is why, you know, I'm not mad about it. No, Nobody no, should be going against this. Just it's just pointing like, it out. 
Yeah, this is like, yeah, this is, this is something that just went, it's interesting, it wouldn't go today. And there's other weird things that today, I look, I probably wouldn't look at it as a bad thing, but in today's sensitive age, uh, there are things that they make fun of that you, somebody would get mad about it today. I might not, but somebody out there would. Uh, somebody would say that, oh, you think it's cool to make fun of Daphne's eating disorder? Oh, Daph, what's wrong with you? Don't you ever eat? You know, that's a real disease, or that's a real <laughs> disease. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a goddamn movie with a talking Fine, the dog. The movie's like yeah. 10 minutes long now. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, damn. Good. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> there is a brilliant idea in the movie. Mm -hmm. now, and some of it ex is executed okay. Um, it has to do with this character right here. Damn. Not that one. Looking <laughs> 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 like a that's an Asylum Hulk right yeah, there. No <laughs> Boy, that monster doesn't look incapable of anything. Oh, a sneak attack, eh? I gotta warn you, you're dealing with... Some people are rich. Oh, oh, shit, scrappy dude. People, you don't understand. Now, I don't know how it is for kids today, but back when we were watching cartoons as kids, nobody, nobody liked scrappy dude. That little dog right there. They, they were doing that a lot with cartoons. Yeah. Where, like, we brought it back, and now there's a, a plucky, sa sassy kid tagging yep. along who's kind of taken over the show. That was the big problem with Scrappy-Doo, was that he went from being somebody who was along with them to, okay, now he's the featured player. Yep. And you're like, wait, what? Yep. Blackie Chan said, I like Scrappy. Don't, 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 you, don't, don't, don't tell say that. that. Don't, for your own safety, don't say that. I, re I, would, I would erase that comment if <laughs> I were you. <laughs> My daughter Gwynny, she likes Scrappy Doo, too. She like, I thought he was cute. See, that's the thing. Y'all didn't have to live that scrappy life like we did. Back in the day, that was a whole different thing when it was introduced. Now that y'all like got a whole bunch of other Scooby-Doo movies out there, yeah. you got a whole bunch of Scooby you know, <laughs> properties out there, you ain't got to deal with this shit like we did. You guys can choose to watch Scrappy-Doo. Yeah. <laughs> he was thrust upon us with no other options. That's Y'all have so much more entertainment. Y'all got so many streaming services. You get to watch things on your time. Back then, we were on that show's time. When it yes. came on, yes, we had to go right. watch that shit, and they said, you're going to watch Scrappy-Doo, then you're going to watch Scrappy-Doo. You guys got not a channel, but channels that show nothing but cartoons all day. Yeah. We, we had whatever came on Saturday morning. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> we, we couldn't go like, oh, well, you know what? Let me see what's on Cartoon Network number 30. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Let me go see what's on, you know, oh, Nick Jr. Yeah, New Boomerang. <laughs> Disney the, the afternoon, whatever the f No, we he had this one option right here, and if they said you gonna watch Scooby the Scrappy Doo, you gonna suck his dick and watch Scrappy Doo. <laughs> and they made what I like about it is like it was brilliant. At first we thought it was a cameo, like a good nod towards mentioning that no, we hate Scrappy Doo. So they tried to make Scrappy Doo as much of an asshole as possible. Now listen up, losers. The time has come that you appoint me your unquestioned leader. Either that or I'm out of here. <laughs> now, that's bad enough right there, but they, they didn't stop there. Oh, shit, do I have it? Oh, oh, here it is. They didn't stop there. They had to actually win. They had to go and make him not an asshole. They had to make him a pervert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the thing, he actually, because they make a joke like he's marking his territory. No, that's sexual for him because if you listen to how he is after he's done through, after he pisses on her, he's like, ooh. He's peeing on me. Oh, ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got damn right I am. <laughs> you know, I love animals so You know, I love dogs so much that even a CG dog, I don't want to see them get abandoned, but this little bitch right here. What's the idea? Yeah, you had to go, man. Well, yeah. it's because he, he's not even trying to acknowledge what he did. Mm -hmm. Like the whole, what's the idea? It'd be different if he's like, look, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't help it. He'd be like, all right, give him a chance. But him like, oh, wait, what's the big deal? And you're like, oh. oh. And even worse <laughs> than what's the big deal? He's peeing on me. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, you get your little nasty ass out the car. He's a sociopath. So. Rowan Atkinson, you know, he's the one that is the perceived villain. You know, he invited the crew to the... Spooky Island so that he could get them back for a mystery, but no, he really bought them back so he could kill them and steal their souls or whatever. I thought it was kind of funny that it turns out that Mr. Bean was scrappy the whole time. Da -da 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 -da! Puppy power! But then they 
kept going and had to, had to make his ass go Super Saiyan and shit. <laughs> Oh God! Well, even, well, even, even the idea that it was him, you're like, wait, his hyperactive ass was somehow pulling off being reserved and British. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he <laughs> built this company and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna question too much. We're we talking about talking dogs and shit, but you know, it's just like it's, there are limits, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and I brought you here, puny, pathetic, mystery ink. Ah! Okay, all right, all right. And like, yeah. you, you couldn't have done that in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> it's part of the master plan. There's, there's the things yeah. in motion. He has to wait. And, 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 he sent him an invitation and then Hulk out and kill him. Yeah, and then it's, we it's had the a, end of the day. We, we had a joke. It was it's good. Kind of monologue. We didn't have to keep going. You know, goddamn. Boy, set your ass down. You know, uh, I do like, though, that. <laughs> I do like, though, that, <laughs> that, that, that Mr. Bean, but Rowan Atkinson, he's like, can you believe this little motherfucker? <laughs> he was mad. He said that bitch. He knocked me out and put me in a hole. <laughs> he, they made. I will say this. They made Scrappy do sound very diabolical. That little pest turns up at a casting session for our evil elves. The next thing I know, I'm stuck in a hole, and he's cavorting about in a mechanical version of me. Drugged his ass, put him in a hole, and then made a robot that looked just like this. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, know, innovative. you know what? That's on you, Mr. B. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up here trying to be fair. You sure are. With yeah. Scooby Doo. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to be nice. But and I'm saying y'all had a lot going on. Because one of the things I also appreciated that they did, I said, all right, you know what? You did some clever things. You actually found a way to find a to, to make the gang in a live action movie go into a creepy castle that looks like a cartoon creepy castle from the show. You know, it's a castle on the island. You know, it's part of the theme. It's complete with all the little, the little trimmings that we like, like the the paintings and the sculptures on the wall with, with the holes for the the real moving eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets his ass beat by Scrappy. Yeah, he does. You going? Let me tell you, you get off of work yet? Yeah. <laughs> get your little ass back up there. Yeah. I look at things. You've spent so much time trying to be like the show and you missed one of the most the, the the most legendary gag from the show there's a part in the show where where they go through the hallways mm. y'all remember that yes of the course. whole the, the old hallway joke where people keep going from door to door chasing the villain villain chasing them blah 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 back and forth People, the old, the old hallway door shuffles a classic, man. It is. Love those. Yeah. L laughed every time. And I appreciate how the, the Hanna-Barbera got to save on animation. Yes. <laughs> oh, the hell yeah. Run back they, love that. they use the same <laughs> reward. They use the same <laughs> runs over and over again, just going from door to door, <laughs> just sliding up. <laughs> Look at that. They all doing that same run. Look at that. Bought themselves time and money, man. <laughs> Boy, you clever bastards, you. <laughs> and made millions. <laughs> millions off of recycled animation, man. It's classic, man. And they set it up. They set, they set it up in the movie. Scooby Dooby Doo! I'm seeing a hallway indoors. You set it up. Shit, I got the condom on every and everything, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. And they keep going. <laughs> when, the, when the demons start running, like, oh, here we go. Door to door. What happens at the end of this scene? <laughs> you mother... Really? He kills them. All these... <laughs> I wish. You mean to tell me you pass all those goddamn doors? <laughs> all those doors, not one? You didn't go through one? They did that shit with recycled animation. You I got a hundred million dollar budget and you can't do that? Now that's where I said, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, finally. Yeah. That's where, that, <laughs> that is where. Now, yeah, okay. that, point. All right. that is where I draw the line. I okay. said, no. Corey's taking right. umbrage with this. Okay. No. Yeah, but when they get to that castle, man, shit, that's when things. For me, it's like that's when movie really fell apart. Cause then that's when they start trying to introduce more story and story yeah. don't make no sense. And 
you know, things become frantic. They got, you know, the, the music and the cameos, I get, okay? Because that's the, you know, that, that's how you got to sell these Yeah, things. you know, that, that's the gimmick of this is like the show. All right, I got it. And I fell for it. You know, I like it. Um, but a lot of it just turned to filler after a while. Then they got that castle. Those fools were just all over the place. It was almost like you cut the light on and the roaches just scattered. They just, <laughs> just, just doing random shit, man. Running from things that don't even look dangerous. Watch out! Them blades coming down just a slow. I got bad people up in school. Even the cameraman confused. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> wait, wait, what do I shoot here? Yeah, yeah, why, 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 is all, why is all this plastic food going all over the place? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, it was, it was scenes like that that they did so much in the movie. They're just running. Yeah. Just running around doing nothing. Filling the movie up with nothing. It's the inherent flaw of trying to adapt a 22-minute episode. You're making an exactly. hour and 45-minute movie. Mm-hmm. So what do you do when you have to fill an hour and 27-minute movie with what was essentially probably 15 minutes of show? You fill it in with things like this. Ooh. I'm not stopping till you're first singed off. Ring. That goes on about three minutes, y'all, just yeah. farting. Just farting. Filling time. Mm-hmm. Just filling time. Filling it with farts. Shit is a good thing Shaggy wears them brown pants because he's shitting on himself <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Villains don't make no sense. They go from Polynesian natives to the Telemundo wrestling, Mexican wrestlers. <laughs> Diversity, Iris the, Gord, come on. Stop being so culturally insensitive. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You know, no. <laughs> Scrap is being progressive. Yeah, you Come on. You ain't doing nothing to get your ass on somewhere. It, introducing all these muchadors and all this kind of stuff with these Mexican max and luchadors or whatever. They, they ain't doing a damn thing in here. <laughs> but just trying to catch these kids. Oh, they got away. <laughs> and, and the leader, the leader's supposed to be most intimidating besides Scrappy or, or Mr. Bean or whatever. Is you know the the leader looks the most ridiculous. And I'll tell you why, because he's all tatted up. But you can look at his, <laughs> you can look at his head and t- people. I make this joke all the time, but I mean it literally here. You can tell they put them tattoos on this man's head with a sharpie. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. when, he walk, when he walked in, you can see it was kind of smudging. Yeah, like and the lights got shiny. to. Yeah, it's all shiny. That shit ain't in his head. That wasn't even good. That wasn't even good drawings. No. What kind of tattoos? <laughs> They don't even look like, what are, what are they? They don't even look like anything. Right, because somebody walks up like that, you're not intimidated. You're like, oh, you're kind of stupid. What happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought that was a good idea. Okay. You draw tattoos on yourself like that as a joke when you go to a Halloween party yeah. or something, and you mean to get laughs. Yeah. You can see the shit kind of smudged and everything. What yeah. the f- is any of this? I don't mean to body shame the man, but he's like, if this is supposed to be like, ooh, your number two villain. He's like an old pudgy guy. <laughs> his I know. guts hang over his belt. Yeah, you don't, you <laughs> don't have you a mean? belly and then wear yeah. a vest with no shirt. You don't know nothing about this. <laughs> 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 I got a good tattoo on my stomach. Spare me! <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> Story don't make no sense, as I said. These... These, 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 I don't even know why they do these. these y'all, and again, I don't know. Maybe this is from the rated R script. I don't know. The, when, the, when the souls are taken and put into a, uh, this cauldron, it just looks like a big old, just looks like a, 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 a sperm stew. Or it looks like when frogs lay eggs and another, the male came over and just splooshed sperm all over it. Stick your hand in there. What's yeah, what you doing? <laughs> Shit, that's not even real. Shit, Sh- Shag is, he's, a lo- he's hallucinating. He's freaking the <laughs> out right all now. All of this is. <laughs> all of this. This whole, this whole movie is just Shaggy's is a hallucination. Honestly, I kept hoping, like, maybe the big reveal would be that Scooby doesn't even exist. He doesn't even it's, talk. It's, it's, it's just, just Shaggy's just, uh, just high all the time, and he imagines it. Yeah. Or at the end, Scooby convinces Shaggy to kill everybody. <laughs> He's the villain the whole Sam. time. Yeah, they, son of they, Sam. They did that on the Venture Brothers. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. wow. That's brilliant. Yeah, just <laughs> reel them all. <laughs> like, what does real mean, man? <laughs> They're already real. Kill, goddamn. God kill damn. them. <laughs> kill these. Like, I'll do it myself. Uh, yeah, these. And then the thing is, they got to save the world from these, these, uh, these demons that look like giant ass gremlins 
Mm-hmm. Um, uh, 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 maybe they have vampire because they can't stand the sunlight. Actually, they went as far as to rip off gremlins. Yeah. Because these yeah. motherfuckers look like a cross between. They look like the Trix Rabbit are. The rabbit from Donnie Darko, yeah. a cross between mm. that and the Gremlins and Bugs Bunny, and if they if they're exposed to sunlight, then you know that's some lazy shit right that there. That is too. the laziest. That's mm. that's right next to the well. If we take out the brain, then all these other soldiers. Will yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. They The thing is, they had to inhabit real bodies. That's why they're taking the souls out of the out of the kids, and the demons jump in there. Why? Because they need that to be daywalkers. You know, they need that. <laughs> oh, yeah. They need that to walk around the sun. They get exposed to the sun, and just like, just like gremlins are, are vampires, they die. <laughs> Except to get the monkey pox first. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, in the show that they are, what you think of Fetty? Yeah, Fetty! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> Well, we don't want to scare the kids. No, we don't. It's not like we just put our hands on a vat of sperm. Come on now. No, no. Um, and to convince the <laughs> everybody that they are indeed college students, they when they get into the kid's body, they uh, they start talking that black slang. What happened last night? Man, we got beats like it was the Lizness on Earth. You know what I'm saying, G? No. Yeah, you speak for everybody. <laughs> I guess while they were stealing white bodies, they decided to steal black culture too. So, just a two for one special. <laughs> Why not? That's a good one. Oh, shit. And speaking of black people, they put me in the movie for nothing. Oh, but yeah, just, they did. They, oh, put me, right. they put me in the movie just to be black for no other reason. Cause I, ain't, I don't have any purpose in the movie. I ain't there for nothing but to add some old black voodoo and be like, hey, girl, where you going? What are you doing? I have to start my voodoo ritual all over again. Voodoo ritual? Yes, voodoo ritual. I think, look at this shit. He's got this nigga on this movie. Nothing else to do but sit up here and talk black and kill a frozen Pilgrim's Pride turkey back to a piece of chicken. <laughs> like, why is he there? It's like it's owned by Rowan Atkinson's character. He's why there for no white. I'm asking, you, I'm asking you why. They need a black guy. Why I am I there? there? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, so wait, so there's no black people in this? Ooh, ooh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> We gotta get something. Yeah, right. exactly. Make him, a, make him a witch doctor, yeah. right? Black people are witch doctors. Okay, there you go. There's no other black people except except the DJ from Sugar Ray and the and the dancing extra. In the background. Yeah, yeah we need, yeah. You gotta give one of them lines. A couple yeah. lines. Exposition. It'll be fine. Yeah, people. This is this is uh. This is you. This is me, aka Miguel Nunez. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Junior? Yeah. <laughs> Some people say, I'm Junior, but... Jesus Christ, when he's in Shadow right there, man, he does look like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> what you mean, Junior? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> like, wow. <laughs> I think we can trick some people man, to say that you were in this Juicy, movie. Come on, now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> hey, man. It's true, though. <laughs> uh, some story goes on. For some reason, I still don't understand why. Maybe you remember this. You just saw it. Uh, <laughs> Defer to me. Yeah, I can explain. I mean, I know. Help me out here. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't see the shit. I saw it. I don't know what the hell's going on. I know my Scooby. You're smarter than me. You know. Help me out here, man. For some reason, they got to sacrifice Scooby Doo. Yeah, because he's like the chosen one. They've done that before. Okay, they, the did cho- that, they did that. They did Scoob it. recently. That's yeah. just it. That's he's the chosen one. Okay, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. And of course, he's too stupid to realize he's about to be sacrificed. Let's run for it. We like gotta get out of here. Uh-uh. Rhyme a rice. <laughs> I mean, he is a dog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you roop it too. <laughs> you dumb rum a mucker. That's what you just let his ass go. Get another dog. <laughs> Smarter one. Yeah. Shit, don't get you in trouble like this right here. The effects got worse as they went along. Oh, yeah. Like I look, I let it slide with Scooby and, and these other things. I said that's those demons are cartoony. They're trying to be like the cartoon. Okay, it's still bad, but whatever. I ain't gonna nitpick. Like I said, Scooby's all right. He hangs out with with, uh, with with Shaggy, Matthew Lillard. Cool. They make it work somehow. But they this, this movie, just like any other movie, they have their <laughs> moments. <laughs> you like <laughs> God damn. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> All the money we spent on this movie and they did that? That shit is cheap. <laughs> I look better than that. That was the ran out of money moment. Yeah. Every movie got it. Some of the most expensive movies, they got the, They got there. We ain't got no more money. Yeah. There were some green eyes. Yeah. And Just do what out. you can. Yeah. <laughs> we, it's, a, it's a quick shot. It's small. <laughs> Just use that. It ain't done rendering. I don't care. Just go <laughs> That's ahead. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing, even Scooby's not done rendering. Look, man, I'm okay. ready to go home. Are you? 
<laughs> Take that shit out now and just put it in the movie. Ain't nobody gonna care. <laughs> and I still like, man, like I said, I still like uh, Freddie Prince Jr. As, as as Fred. I think it's a great cast and they didn't do much with him. I thought it was good. But they, these guys, they, they get the kiss at the end. Oh. I mean, she like, shit, pick it up. Damn. <laughs> now, 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 at home, at home, yeah. Jesus. Shit, his hand is somewhere ain't supposed uh, to be right now. Uh, you know, I mean, they get to make, they, they let them have a passion to kiss. Now, half of it is because, yes, yes, it's because they are a, a real couple. But also it's because, well, they're the pretty people yeah. in the movie. <laughs> but ain't nobody else getting to do that. You know, Shaggy found love. Um, he don't get to do shit with this girl except eat, eat her dog food. You saved my life. Like, no problem. Uh-oh. He's like, God damn, y'all do something, man. <laughs> you know, uh, but I get it, though. I get it for Shaggy. In Shaggy's case, uh, you know, uh, Scooby's always going to be his first love. Reggie! Scooby Doo! <laughs> I love you, Reggie. I love you, too, Scoob. I was like, oh, you know what? That's the way it should be. Both said, that girl's over there looking like, what the f***? <laughs> I was, I was about to make out. There's, that there's, damn dog there's, came there's in. Nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> well, you Tell said you. nothing. You said nothing there, yeah. but Scooby Doo Fight Club. Yeah. I'm just can't. You know, I'm just saying it. It, it don't matter yeah. if, if if Scooby's the love of uh of of, of Shaggy's life because that girl's gonna f- with him anyway. Rocks. Ah. Oh yeah, <laughs> shit is gonna be about to be on that van. And that's some furry shit. Going yeah, on. yeah, yeah. 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 About to Bestiality. Run. Hell yeah, they about to tap that ass. They about to run that train on it real quick. You could tell that that I don't know what kind of uh, homoerotic thing that Scooby and Shaggy got going on, but 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 Scooby gets jealous at one point. Oh yeah, actually yeah, throughout call, the movie. Yeah, throughout the movie. Yeah, he calls his ass out at one time. Now he had a point. You know, your chick's possessed by a demon, but also I don't like that bitch. Oh, oh ripped. I'm whipped. <laughs> <laughs> he told you pussy with me. Yeah. <laughs> Without even having to get the pussy yet. <laughs> that's the thing with this movie, man. That's why people don't like it. Our critics have been cr- critical of it. I didn't do this as a bad movie, Rose, because I know a lot of people grew up with this movie and they have fun memories of it. And I can see why. I actually do see why. You know, there's some things in there I like that I didn't think I would like. Uh, you know, I, I could have been. I thought I remember being much much harsher on this back in the day. But I look at it now. I see why kids like it. And I do, that's like I said, I do like the relationship between uh, between Shaggy and Scooby, man. You know, I like that they, well, I did like that they ended the movie with them. My best friend. You're my best friend, buddy. You're beautiful, like a beautiful piece of pizza. Mm. You know, I was like, oh, that's sweet. And then they, they had, they had to. I'm so they, smart they, just they, staring at you I with know. so much resentment. I don't care. I don't care. I, I don't think for Martin. I just looked over at him. I, yeah, I, that way. I, don't, I don't know why Martin takes my opinion so seriously. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, Martin just, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. Holy shit. Martin, it's like I tell Martin all the time. I'm just like, hey, man, you, you're fine. You enjoy what you want to enjoy. But I, I notice that when I'm talking about certain things, Martin's like, I will. He is like, he's like such a disappointed I know, father. I don't think that is, that is not. Because I know I've, I've been talking to you because Martin ain't just been in the mood to talk about this. Because Martin just, yeah. he's been over there the whole time. No, yo, no, because you've been talking to him, so I'm just kind of left over here. Plus, there's t- things you said that I don't agree with, but you you want to make your point. You want to move on to the next one. I'm not trying to interrupt your flow. You can't tell me? No, that's what we hear. I don't mind if you, because, well, shit, Martin, like, first of all, I disagree with you about everything <laughs> except the bad things you said <laughs> i'm not mad at you I, I i never said i was mad at you he did so, okay so no, you, I, no, you see, you I see what he just funny. did <laughs> i just thought it was funny <laughs> you know I, i've had martin's face before when you're like all right yeah keep going <laughs> i i don't like this movie but i ain't gonna sit around being pissed off about it i <laughs> I don't like it either. <laughs> I, 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 I strongly disagree with you on the, the casting of Freddie Prince Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar. No, I, that's, that's cool. Yeah, I, that was like the, probably one of the biggest things right off the bat yeah. that rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, the, the, this casting's terrible. They, they are not these characters. It's, it's like you could say, like, hey, Daphne and Fred are, are a clean slate. They don't really have much of a personality. What little they do have in the cartoons, completely miss. It's like, right. oh, well, we can write whatever we want. 
So we'll make them obnoxious. And I was like, God yeah. damn it. This yeah, is, I'll see that. This is the way, what y'all always do with these things. Th- that's one of the, I'm glad you brought that up, Martin, because one of the big issues <coughs> I have this movie is just like, yeah, all these people are kind of shitty yeah. to each other. And listen, as little depth as that cartoon had, I like, we all like the fact that they got along. That, that they, they were w- such good friends. Yes, yeah. exactly, that they were friends. And this movie just doesn't capture that. Hell, they don't even really capture that in the sequel either. I mean, t- t- maybe to a better degree, but still, not great. I was ready to go out of here and be like, at least they ended on a good note with, uh, with Shaggy and Scooby. You know, being friends in that heartfelt way that I liked earlier in the movie. And they, just like everything else in this goddamn film, they couldn't <laughs> stop. To stop. They don't know when to stop. I was ready to let it go, and then... God damn it! I was like, you just, we were done! A, a, a physical gag we were, just because there was nothing else going on. We there. were out! Self abuse. We, we were out! We, we were done, you know, and, and that's why I'm like, man, you just can't leave. You, you don't want me to be happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? oh, I'm your oh, only defender here. <laughs> right. Oh, you still liking this? <laughs> yeah. You? I'm your only defender here. And you can't let me have that? I went back and watched it. I am a little more gracious than the people in the room here, <laughs> but only a little, <laughs> only a little. And I'm doing this because these mother want to kill me. <laughs> and I'm still trying to like, I'm still trying to get you where you need to be got, but damn it, you won't let me do it. You won't let me do it. Yeah, these motherfuckers, they, didn't, they, have, they have been non-responding through this whole review because they just been like, this stupid bitch over here, they talking about me, this stupid mother, they actually, he actually, wow, you like that? That's cool. You good with that? I've seen, I see both of you. Both of you. Both of y'all just been looking at me like this dumb mother. Man. Like, we're just letting you speak your mind. <laughs> yeah, this is just let him go. Let him, yeah, let him have this. Who let this bitch do? Yeah, who let this bitch do a show? <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Trying to be there for the kids. Well, look, I didn't, I didn't rewatch it yesterday, but I've, I hated this movie, and but I still have seen it a few times since it came out, just because. We had it on, on Blu-ray, mm. and, and my kids liked it when they were young. Sure. And then when they became adults, I was talking to them about it. I was like, oh, yeah, that Scooby-Doo movie. You guys like that. And they were like, no, we don't. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you, yeah, you used to watch it. No, it's because we like Scooby-Doo, but that movie's terrible. Yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, well, you got some sense. Yeah, it's the same thing with me. I think I might have seen this in the theater or maybe years later. I saw this one, and then I saw Actually, I saw the second one uh, recently. <laughs> and it, it, it's it, it just as bad, maybe if not worse. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it just, it, again, it, the, the, they fail because they're trying to adapt a 22-minute episode and expand upon it and it just doesn't work they're filling with things that are obnoxious or just annoying and uh are or just the constant and consistent with something i hate the modern day references they just yeah they just, they just hit you over the head with them constantly and i hate shit like that yeah if you guys like it i get it all you kids out there you grew up with it there's a stuff in, there's a lot of stuff in here i could see that you know growing up with it for nostalgia's sake you could still like but yeah you Oof, know, i don't know that wrestling thing <laughs> i told you i told you that's yeah. Daphne's moment, Martin. Don't take yeah, that from her. <laughs> she knows kung fu. Her fake kung fu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I would give it this extremely low rental if I had to do it. I'm just being honest. I mean, but I can definitely see people doing uh, some old bullshit with this. It's because a lot of it was. It's just, it's just not for me, man. 